So in this first video, I want to show you very quickly our Google My Business Analytics uh, panel. This is basically the custom dashboard that we built for, uh, for monitoring and tracking the performance of Google My Business listings and locations. So uh, we struggled for several years as, as an agency to try to find a tool a reporting tool that, that gave us exactly what we wanted. And we, uh, after our client base grew to a certain level, we could no longer um, wait to find a sufficient tool. So we just built one ourselves. We applied for the Google My Business API. We got approved. Once we got approved, we brought on developers and we built this dashboard. So, um, so this is the homepage of the dashboard and um, what you see here currently, there's 122 entries. This is 122 locations in this particular account for us. Um, if you are a franchise business, then, and let's say you have, you know, 1,200 or 1,500 locations, then you would have a panel that would have all of your locations listed. Um, currently, it's set to a default of 10 entries. I'm going to open it up to 100. Um, and the reason I want to do this is I want to first show you um, the location authority column. And that's right over here, uh, location authority. So location authority, very quickly, it's basically a um, term that we use that, um, that, that describes the rankings and presence and productivity of a Google My Business location relative to the actions or the pro productivity that are taken on by users of that location. So in other words, um, I'll just give you an example. Uh, and, and this location authority column, you can sort it from highest to lowest. So we have 122 listings here. I can sort it to see the lowest performing listings. And this is valuable because I can go in and and for the lowest performing ones, I can look at them and see like what's going on, why are these so low performing. Um, and then also I can click and sort it from highest to lowest. So now I can see what locations are performing the highest and uh, both extremes of that data is valuable. The lowest performing data, I can go in and look at, see what's going on, see what the problem is. The highest performing locations is valuable because I can go in and look at, well, what is, you know, what have we done? What's going on at this location that's driving such a high level of location authority? Um, but uh, like I was saying, the location authority is just a measurement of your, your rankings and presence at a, um, at, a, at a radius away from your location, also relative to the productivity of that GMB. So, um, uh, and, and the example I was going to give is, um, let's say you, uh, let's say you have to be standing in your parking lot of your business, um, in order to see your business in Google maps or Google local search, right? So if you're standing in your parking lot, you search, you find your business, but let's say you just go right down the block, you leave your parking lot, you walk down to the, the corner of the block and then you search and you can no longer see your business. So we would say that your location authority is, is pretty much the radius is the extent of your parking lot. Okay, that's obviously not really valuable. That, that would mean that you have a low level of location authority, right? So the goal is to increase your location authority so that if you get a mile, two miles, five miles, even 10 miles out from your location, Customers are searching and finding you and customers, customers are searching and finding you in Google Maps. They're finding you in search and they're taking action. You know, they're calling you, visiting your website, getting direction requests, things of that nature. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and dive into, um, dive into a couple of these dashboards and we'll just, uh, oh, sorry. This here. Okay, so um, so over here, I've sorted location authority from highest to lowest. I'm just going to open up these two. 
Actually, it's, it's a medical group with two different locations. So I'm going to open this highest one and then the next unique uh, company or location, which is this one here. So these are two of the highest um, rated location authority uh, locations. And let's see what's going on here. Okay, so as, as you can see, their, um, their actions, which is their phone call, their phone call actions um, is relatively high. And this is a comparison of one month. We can also on this dashboard look at three months, um, six months, and one year. Um, but the reason their productivity or their location authority is so high is you can see that um, they're getting a lot of phone calls. So in September, and I have it set to the one month period. So um, the last full month, which was October versus the previous month, which was September, um, you see there are over 290 phone calls. So in, in the month of October, 296 phone calls relative to their presence in search. So this is their, um, this is their discovery search data. This is their search view data. This is their map view data. So you can see um, their productivity relative to their presence in search, okay? And here's a graph that shows the location authority of this location over time. And then we can look down in here and we can look at all of these productivity metrics, um, so on and so forth. So, um, so this is why, and it's this location right here, they have the highest rated at 17.39%, which is because relative to their views and their presence in search, they're getting a lot of productivity in phone calls, direction requests, and website visits collectively. Here is another location, uh, another business or location that's getting, that has a high level of location authority. It's this company right here at 10.82%. So what's interesting is they're not getting a lot of phone calls relative to their presence in search, but what they are getting a lot of and a huge growth, 138.46% just in the last month of website visits, right? So a lot of people are finding them in search, in maps, and, uh, and, in, and in Google search, but relative to that, the number one action that people are taking is once they find them, they're clicking through and visiting their website um, at a, obviously, at an increasing rate. So um, again, website actions, direction requests, phone calls, all collectively equal um, actions and location authority in this case is based upon the actions relative to the presence in search. And here you can see a graph. This client really started with us at the beginning of the year. You can just see the huge growth in location authority and in productivity um, that we've been able to drive for this client. So, um, so that's the like positive side of using the dashboard. Let's look at some of the lower the lower ranked um, location. So here we have, um, this is a location with a 0.29% um, metric. Here's another business with a 0.33%. So these are very low levels of location authority. So now we're gonna be able to go in and look at um, what's going on, what are some things that are happening here. Um, okay, so um, and this might be valuable to look at, like we at the previous one we were looking at just one month, might be valuable to look at maybe three months or six months to see what's going on. So, and you can see uh, basically whatever their view or their presence is in search, right? Their, their presence is increasing in search. Their map views are increasing dramatically in search, but it's not at a point yet where people are finding them consistently in the top search results. So you can see nobody's taken any action, right? And that's uh, October versus six months ago. Here's October uh, versus three months ago and October versus one month ago. So um, again, the work that we're doing, we're, and, and this is a client that just signed on, um, I think about a month, month and a half ago. So we are increasing their presence in search 
but they're not yet at a point with their rankings and presence in search where people are taking huge amounts of action. And that is why, um, and this is Wagner, so that's why they have a very low level of location authority. And then let's look at um, this uh, juice bar business. And I know that they are in Washington, DC. So again, the same story. You can see a relative growth in presence and views in search, um, pretty strong growth in views in search, but that means they're not increasing to a point where um, people are actually taking action on them, which means even though we're increasing their presence in search, they haven't increased yet to a point where they're like consistently number one, two, or three in the search results. So as we continue to build their location authority, these numbers are going to increase dramatically. Um, but once they get into that top three, then you will see huge takeoff in the actions and productivity. Okay. So, um, so that's a, uh, that's an overview of the dashboard. And again, the value of this dashboard is, um, imagine you have a lot of locations, you can bring them into the dashboard and the location authority metric is going to, um, it's going to produce that metric automatically for you. And you'll be able to sort and see highest to lowest. You'll be able to analyze your best performing locations and also analyze your lowest performing locations to uh, put together a strategy on how to fix things. Um, and also analyze the highest performing to see what, what you're doing right at those, at those locations. So um, let me walk you through this dashboard very quickly. This, this dashboard is full of a lot of data. Um, so number one, this percent change in productivity. Okay, so um, for example, we, we always take, we built it so you have the last full month of data, which it's November 13th, so the last full month is October of 2019, and we wanna compare the productivity versus previous points in the past. So this default view is one month. So it's October versus the previous month, which is September. If we look at six months, we're looking at the last full month October verse, I'm sorry, three months ago, we're looking at October verse July of 2019. Okay, so now you can look and see how this location is doing last month in October verse three months ago. Okay, and you can look at each of the metrics and you can see the percentage increase or decrease of each of these variables. And then the same for six months. Okay, so three months ago, uh, who is this, ready? Okay, so three months ago, you know, numbers were down, but if you back up to six months ago, you see strong growth, and then you can also look at one year back, and you can see um, strong growth as well. So anyway, this is a really valuable part of the tool because you're able to see the percent change in productivity of your last full month relative to points in the past. And then coming down here, location authority. I talked a little bit about this already, but here in location authority, you can see um, how your location authority is trending over time. So are, are you building location authority? Are you losing location authority month over month? And this looks at the last 12 months. So here for this particular location, you can see that we've been growing their location authority consistently over time, which means they're not only getting higher rankings and presence in search, but that rankings and presence is also producing actions such as phone calls, direction requests, and website visits, which, which is the goal. Um, coming down here, GMB actions. So again, you have your total actions, website, directions, and phone calls, and you see all of these metrics graphed out here. Um, value, the, the valuable part of this is you can see the trend of actions over time, okay? And um, you, can't, you can't lose focus on this last column because it looks like it's down, but, but this tracks in real time. So, so we're seeing, like right now it's November 13th, so we're only halfway through the month of November. 
and you can but but you can see the productivity metrics that we have so far in the month of November okay but since we're only about halfway through the month of November we're only getting about a half of a month's worth of data so um, anyway so this is the GMB actions component this is the search productivity so the total searches um, total direct search and total discovery search so quick overview here direct search is brand search so so brand name search so these are people who are searching the actual brand name of your business and then discovery search is the non-branded search results and you can see like direct search is red discovery search is blue obviously um, a lot more search volume is happening around the non-branded right and this business here is medical so ready medical group so these are people who are looking for an urgent care near me or a pediatrician near me that's all of the I'm sorry here that's all of the discovery searches and then the red direct search that's the people searching for ready medical group the actual branded searches um, and then the search views you see the total search views which is Google search and map views which is Google Maps okay so the blue here is the views that are happening in Google Maps the red is the views that are happening in Google organic or the Google app on mobile okay so basically you have organic and map so in this case here for this particular location the majority of the searches and, and, and views are happening on just the regular Google search so like google.com or the Google search app on mobile um, and relatively speaking a lower volume is happening directly in Google Maps okay um, here is the GMB review and rating um, this gives you the total reviews and the total average rating but it also shows um, it also shows your um, your rating month over month so as you get reviews um, as the depending on the review rating that you get that that review rating will be impacted and this is just tracked month over month so um, so anyway that is an overview of the dashboard um, here also you can download the report so if you just uh, hit download you'll see that you'll come to um, takes a second I'll let that run okay so what it's going to do it's opening up the PDF this is here now it's basically the dashboard in PDF form and that can be downloaded and then you can also email this report just enter an email this is my Gmail uh, GMB report um, recent report and send and waiting for this to send and it's successfully sent um, and then also these reports can be scheduled to go um, to the location each month so at a 30-day increment I could set this up to send me an email every 30 days which would basically be an email with this dashboard broken down each second section each data point broken down within the PDF so um, so that's an overview of our GMB dashboard and I just wanted to kind of walk you through walk you through the dashboard and again this is extremely valuable for multi location based businesses or even agencies like us that have a lot of locations um, we're able to very easily manage we're able to easily see what the most problematic locations are that need the most attention um, and then also we're able to dive into the uh, productivity within each location and see um, see you know where the where the biggest opportunities are for improvement so uh, I hope this video was helpful and uh, just let me know if you have any questions thank you